Hey, good morning, TNT. Welcome. Hey, <laughs> all years, the year is coming to an end, 2017, and we're moving straight into carnival cocktails. Thanks to the folks at Carib. I have had a host of our top mixologists and bartenders here over the last few years here on this show. They have come on the show and made and created wonderful cocktails, cocktails that really blew our minds. So if all this time I didn't learn something from these guys, then something wrong with me. So when Carib told me, you know, Joel, let's do some, some, some carnival cocktails as we go into the carnival seasons, Christmas into carnival, I said, let me try my hand at making some cocktails. I think I started last week. I had Lisa Marie Stewart here and, 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 I, and I did a, a cocktail. So I'm really trying to push the evil to see if I could create some cocktails with Carib this season. I may invite a mixologist or two, but let's start this show, guys, with a Carib cocktail. And I did some research. I remember, I mean, all the mixologists that passed through kind of made the cut on our cookbook, the first cookbook that we did. There's an entire, all the cocktails we did in the Copper Joe cookbook. I hope you got your copy. Um, and if it's not, it's on all leading bookstores. But I'm doing a carib cocktail this morning and I am mixing or bringing together two drinks. I did some research on it and it's really a margarita for those of you who like the margaritas and beer. So I'm calling it a beergarita. Margarita and beer and all the same elements in a margarita. We're adding some beer to it to freshen it up and lighten it up a little bit. So let's get cracking. I am really just putting, and I'm doing it, I think you can do margaritas two ways, um, on ice or you could do it crushed. So I'm doing it crushed this morning and let's hope for the best. The bartender in me is coming out now. Let's get this thing started with a carb cocktail this morning. So I'm getting some ice. I just really want about, just about, a cup of ice in here. A little more than a cup if you so desire. Get that in there. Yeah, what well a cup, cup and a half kind of thing. Get your ice in there. Once your ice is in there, you can then now add the lime juice. So I have important ingredient in margaritas, lime juice. I have a cup of lime juice going straight in there. Nice, freshly squeezed lime juice. To that, all this is is simple syrup. Equal parts sugar, water, bring to a boil. It's no magic, but it really, if you're a cocktail making kind of mood, simple syrup is one of your key ingredients if you have it. Yeah, you don't have to, you could already just add it to any type of liquid just to smoothen it out, to smoothen out any cocktail. So, uh, we're adding, I think, just about a half cup of simple syrup here. I'm averaging, and I will really just cut the tartness of the lime. Right, so we have that in. Now I can add the tequila. So the tequila is the main alcohol in the margarita. So I'm adding about a three quarter cup to a cup kind of thing. Um, and obviously it will depend on how strong your margarita is. And the tequila is, you smelling, I'm pouring and the tequila is, whew. Yeah, so about a three quarter. If you want to put a whole cup in there, that's entirely up to you. I'm using light beer this morning, light beer. Um, so it's a carrot pilsner. Um, I just think making this cocktail, I could have used the regular carb, but I think the light beer will add well to the flavors because it's, it's, it's lighter on the palate. Um, it's a little smoother, you know, that kind of thing. It's not a, not a beer beer. And I think the light beer is, is, is what you could use here for this particular cocktail. So I get one beer in there and I want a second one. I want a second one. So two carb pilsners in there. And I don't know why. That's the good thing about doing these things, guys. You can decide as you go along. I think I just need a little more ice in there. Because I really want a nice slushy 
margarita. Right. There, there, there. Nothing. Can't do a cocktail without some Angostura bitters. A nice dash or two. Yeah. Of Angostura bitters. And I think I've got everything in there. All you do now, guys, is crush. flavors of the margarita and the beer in one and it is now time to pour this out I just rim the glass bring out the bartender in you rim the glass Someone, a seed wants to get in there salt your rim Get that almost perfect there, boy. <laughs> and you have some fun. Yeah. Want to get a little fancy? Cocktail is not a cocktail without a garnish. Well, thank you, folks, at Carrie for making this one possible. This is a bulk cocktail that you can have, put in your cooler, do your thing. Carib cocktails right here on a cup of joe. We are taking a short break, folks, while I sip this. When we come back, I believe Chef Cheryl and Short Charles is standing by. But this is a good way to start this Foodie Friday. Here's a little peek inside what's coming up on the show. Come on back. <laughs> 